Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and welcome back to the Premiere Pro video series and uh, in this tutorial I'm going to focus on effect controls. It's basically a tab here at the top and I'll show you guys how to use that. So let's bring in some clips into our sequence. So I'm just going to drag some random clips into the sequence like so. Then if we scrub through here we'll obviously see clip the first clip, the second clip and the third clip. So let's go to the first clip and I'm going to just click on this clip once to highlight it. And then with that clip highlighted, I'm going to click on effect controls right here at the top. And then it's going to give me the video effects and the audio effects for the highlighted clip. Now here you can change things like position, scale, rotation, um, opacity and also audio effects like the volume. Alright, so I'm just going to go through some of the basics here. If we click and drag the position, it's going to change the position of that video clip in the frame. So as you can see there, it's just kind of moving around. And to reset the parameters, I'm going to click on this icon here on the side. It's going to reset it back to default. Uh, next is scale. So you can either scale it down or you can scale it up. Uh, just if you want to have a, if you want to reframe a shot basically. So you can kind of scale it up and uh, then you can also reposition with these parameters. Right, I'm just going to reset both of those, the position and the scale. Then you can also do rotation. So if you want to, for some reason, have a video like 90 degrees, you can change it here. You can also scale in so it's kind of filling the frame. You can just play around with this and do some interesting stuff. All right, you can also change the opacity. So this is a keyframe and I'm going to click on this stopwatch to remove the keyframe because I only want to set the opacity straight through this clip. So I can set the opacity of this clip down to 50%. And you'll see it actually goes darker, but it's actually just changing the opacity to 50%. So you can also do the same on your audio. I can change some things here like the level or the loudness. So I'm going to click on the stopwatch to remove the keyframe. And then you can change this basically to set it to 6. 6 is the maximum or minus. You can go all the way down to like minus 287. Uh, which is really really low. So just that's just if you want to change the the volume of your audio clip So I'm going to set that back to zero and uh, let me show you if I just set this opacity back to 100 and I'm going to move this video clip on top of this video clip So I'm going to first of all delete the audio So I'm going to right click unlink and we're going to remove the audio from the second clip and I'm going to bring it onto this video layer number two So now obviously we're seeing this video inside this preview now, if I've got this video selected and I go to effect controls, which is currently open, and then I set the scale down to, let's say, 50%, you can see we've got this video and um, it's set to 50% scale. And then we've got the video at the back, the bottom one that we can actually see is still set to 100% scale. So now I can click on the top one and I can also move it around. So you can see that it's actually overlaying on top of that other video clip. Now we can also go ahead and we can set the opacity of the top one. So with the stop one selected, I'm going to click on the stopwatch next to opacity just to remove the keyframe. And then I can set the opacity down to, let's say, 50%. And I can see we can actually see through this video clip playing uh, because I set the opacity to 50%. Right, so I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to bring in a photo. Uh, let's set the photo down right there. So a normal photo, and as you can see, it's not filling the frame. And an uh, easy way to fix that is let's select that photo, go into effect controls, and now we can scale it. So I'm just going to click and drag here and I'm going to scale it up so it's filling the frame. And now that photo is just filling the frame perfectly. You can also rotate the photo. Uh, you can also change the position of this photo and obviously the scale as I showed you. Right, we can also place this photo on top of our video. So now if we play through this, you'll see that that photo will just appear on top of that video. And we can still go into this photo, we can move it around, we can scale it down if we want to. And uh, that's just a simple way of uh, just changing the parameters of that selected clip. Alright, so that is effect controls inside of Premiere. I'll see you guys in the next video.